Hello, I'm David from Eden Motor Group and we've swapped out our rather lovely showroom today for a studio because I'm going to go through exactly, to a simple degree, how an electric car battery works. So before we look at electric cars, let's look at petrol cars. A petrol car with no turbocharger is called naturally aspirated and is as simple as a modern engine can pretty much be. Most internal combustion engines, for petrol anyway, are what is known as spark ignited internal combustion engine vehicles. Try saying that 10 times fast when you're drunk. All this means is that a small spark ignites fuel, compresses the pistons, which turns a crank, and through a series of gears and drive shafts, enables the front or rear or all four wheels to turn. There are, of course, computers actually controlling quite a lot of the background stuff all the way up until the wheels start turning against the ground. But for now, let's just keep things simple. There are different types of engines, as mentioned before, diesel engines. There are even different types of petrol engines. Recently, Mazda revealed their high compression, sparkless control, spark controlled compression ignition engine, which essentially tries to bridge the gap between diesel and petrol. Electric cars, though, managed to simplify this down to a T. Battery electric vehicles run purely off electricity. Electricity is stored at the battery, and the electricity that's stored in the battery is used to power an electric motor, which turns the drive to the wheels. Nice and easy. Now, there are commonly two types of batteries, lithium-ion batteries, which become the standard for powering many devices, such as the phone that you could be watching this on, or a laptop, or even an iPad. Unlike the lead, acid, and nickel metal hydrate batteries of yonder years, lithium ion batteries are constructed with liquid electrolytes that manage to flow the energy between the cathode and the anode. The benefits of a lithium battery include longer battery life, better performance in varying temperatures, recyclable components, and higher energy density, all of which mean that it is effectively a better battery. The other type of batteries are what is known as solid state batteries, and these are the future. Solid state batteries have been used in small devices like pacemakers as well as RFID wearable devices for years. Having fewer bits and pieces means fewer things can go wrong in addition to improve safety and size. And of course, in EVs, that would also offer faster charging times, more travel range and even greater energy density. Solid state batteries can reach 80% charge within 15 minutes and occur less strain after multiple charges. A lithium ion battery will begin to degrade and lose power capacity after around about 1,000 cycles. The solid state, however, should be around 5,000. Solid state batteries are the future and the only reason why everybody is not using them already for cars is because of the increased cost over lithium iron. But how do any of these batteries really work? Well, this is the nitty and gritty of the situation. But once again, it's kind of simple. So let's use some diagrams and see what's what. A single battery cell contains five main elements. Two of these sections are called an anode and a cathode. The anode contains negative electrolytes and the cathode contains the positive electrolytes. The positive electrolytes always wants to get to the negative side but is shut off by a blocker or separator as it's more commonly known. So when you press the accelerator, these positive electrolytes pass from the positive side to the negative side, generating an electrical current through a rod. And essentially, anything attached to this rod will be powered. Once all of these positive and negative are combined in the anode, your car is empty, essentially. Charging it brings back the positive electrolytes back into the cathode and hey presto, your car is fully charged and you're ready to go again. And don't forget, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure, or you've learned something, make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell because we've got more videos coming like this in the future. This is exactly how most, if not all, electric cars will work. In fact, how all batteries work. The battery in your phone will work like this. I mean, unless you have one of these phones, but I mean, come on. Are you watching the video on this phone? Uh, probably not. I mean, congratulations if you are. You are some sort of expert hacker. But once the electricity is blowing, it can go directly to a motor or even a drive shaft. If there's just one electric motor in the car, it can go to each wheel. It can go to a multitude of different things. 
But this is why electric cars are so unbelievably efficient with the energy that they use. You're not losing energy through drive shafts, gearboxes, chains. You're not losing anything because essentially 90% of cars will have their electricity go from the battery to the motor which is attached to the wheel. And it's as simple as that. This is the reason why electric cars are so quick off the line and have that instant torque. It genuinely is incredible. We will cover things like regenerative braking in the future, where the car actually gains electricity or energy from the process of decelerating the car, which is awesome. So that's essentially everything. In the future, as I said, we'll cover things like regenerative braking, how Efficient is it to get the fuel from wherever it starts into your car? Once again, an electric vehicle actually is incredible at this, somewhere around a 90% efficiency from wherever it starts to putting it into your vehicle. So if you want to watch more videos like that, as I said, don't forget to get subscribed, hit the like button and the notification bell. At the moment, we're trying to get three videos up a week at the beginning of a channel's life, very difficult. But with your support, I know we can do it. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.